Hi, Max Sutherland, Sports Marine, Sydney. Here today to show you through the lovely Sea Ray 330 Sundancer 2009 model. We've got it on display. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely um, two owner boat, we believe, from you. Uh, presents absolutely beautiful. Let's start the tour and have a good look through it. Okay, so I'm standing here on the aft of the boat on the extended swim platform that's been fitted um, when the boat was new. Uh, the extension really gives this area you know, some real usability and, and in fact we've got this nice st uh, stern rail being fitted, good thick solid rail um, and the boat also comes with a little inflatable and a 5 horsepower Suzuki with its mounting prop there and the davits on the back here so you just drop the boat into the water and you can retrieve it. I'll show you the dinghy um, later in the video. Also you can use this of course as a mount for a barbecue, put a bait board on here, you know various uses but the, the idea, the concept of this whole area gives you really additional room in the whole boat. It's absolutely perfect. And you'll notice here we've got this aft seat uh, which is a brilliant system. It, it folds it back into the transom effortlessly and locks away when not in use or just pull it out and uh, you got seating here for two or three children um, absolutely superb lovely system you also notice that this boat is fitted with what they call flexi teak so this is an option but the the benefit of this is very cool to walk on in the summer and it also very soft to walk on and it's got that teak look with no maintenance just a bit of soapy water light brush give it a sweep down hose out comes up beautiful so very very nice option uh, walking through here you notice that here in the cockpit lovely u-shaped leak seating here for one two three four five uh, five people and a child easily um, comes with this nice uh, teak table from Sea Ray beautifully done uh, again you know good vision you can see out nicely uh, plenty of room for entertaining and we've got storage under all these seats uh, we've got the clears here currently stacked away so you can park them in there and we've got storage under this rear uh, aft seating as well. So plenty of storage. And they come in and out nicely as well. So we're on the transom of the Sea Ray 330. Just show you these cleats again on this boat. They're large, stainless steel, very solid cleats. Always a good sign of a good brand having proper heavy duty cleats on board certainly helps you get a rope or a large rope around them um, uh, the, yeah good heavy duty cleats very important also we've got the aft shower here uh, so you hot and cold pull out have a shower after you've been in the water jump out hose yourself down folds away nicely um, clips away stainless steel uh, good 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 fitting and this locker here on the starboard side is where your shore power is located. Uh, long as your, as long, uh, 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 along with your fresh water wash down, and this is for plugging a hose in while you're on a marina, so you will get mains pressure on a marina. And so it's a nice out of the way system and that's your circuit breaker for your uh, shore power lead and that just shuts away quite nicely your lead all folds up in there nicely when you're underway so that's all good okay so we're still in the cockpit area you'll notice we've got a nice grill here this is actually electric uh, doesn't look like it's been used much at all but these these work very very well and of course this boat is equipped with a gen set so you can use this out at sea no problem whatsoever. Uh, you've got another bracket here, it's got an additional TV here for the cockpit that you can take in and out, put it in when you want. Uh, 
aerial plug and also you'll notice got this extended bimini here with actual fact they put lighting in it which is nice on either side uh, so it gives this whole area some nice sunshade and out if you want to go out in the sun of course you've got that lovely big extended area out the back now you've also got some nice storage underneath here with a storage bin uh, under the sink and under here you've got a little refrigerator this is 12 volt um, which is again a nice little option to have uh, keeping the drinks cool and more storage in here and rope storage okay so we're still here in the cockpit and underneath the driver's seat and helm seat here you can notice that We've got the easy access to the battery switches, um, which I find very good without having to open any hatches up or uh, keep crawling down into the bilge. They're all here very accessible. And this boat's also got two solar panels on the roof with a 10 amp solar charger, keeping your batteries topped up all the time. It's currently plugged into shore power as well, so that's a, that's a nice little extra included. And then we've got the uh, seating for two here at the helm. Uh, adjustable helm seat that goes back and forth we've got tilt wheel up down whatever drive position you might like standing up driving very well nicely or sitting down uh, that all works nice uh, digital throttle control of course no cables just easy access in out in out um, perfect um, and we've got the evo three uh, evo one sorry simrad sound the depth finder gps and the smart craft vessel control to keep your eye on those merc cruisers telling you what's all going on there we've got uh, rpm gauge four and one gauge merc cruiser uh, miles per hour and then the four and one rev counter for each engine uh, we've got side power bow thruster spotlight control Sony stereo and just all your other functions here on the dash for example you know you've got your hatch lift trim tabs so on and so forth um, I'll show you in how to lift up the hatch uh, just a click of the button here and uh, the hatch will come up We're in the bilge area of the Sea Ray 330 Sundancer. 330 is fitted with twin Merc Cruiser 5.7 Horizons. Um, v drive, shaft drive uh, application. Uh, th this of course is superior to uh, being stern drive where you've got the stern drives constantly in the water and having the worry of corrosion. This takes all that away from it. Um, it also, by virtue of having the V-Drive application, uh, which basically means that the engine is connected to a gearbox and that the shaft runs from the gearbox back under the engine to the propellers, which gives you a lot more room in the aft cabin to the conventional shaft drive applications. Um, it's also got the Kohler 4 kilowatt uh, petrol generator which will run all your systems 240, 220 volt um, while at sea. You'll notice it's got four large Fusion AGM batteries on board. Uh, these are solar charged and also currently connected to shore power. Uh, over on the port side there you'll notice a vacuum and a holding tank that's your vacuum toilet system and just in front of that you'll notice you've got your hot water system next door to the fuel tank which is one port side fuel tank there and the starboard side tank on that side obviously now if you notice down the back there you'll notice a red fire extinguisher you might be wondering how that works well that's an automa motor, automatic system that if the engine bay reaches a certain temperature 
that will discharge itself and and distinct and extinguish any uh, unfortunate fire if it occurred in the bilge area without you knowing. So it's a it's a safety feature. Uh, you don't have to do anything. Just keep your eye on the charging system. It's in the green position, and you know that you're always safe in the bilge area with the fire extinguisher on board. Uh, if needed and it's all automatic you also knows at the back of the engine these pipes coming out either side they are the exhausts and you'll notice connected to the exhaust down there is your large muffler systems which certainly keep this engine uh, and boat very very quiet uh, also you got your LED lighting systems there have been fitted so it lights up the bilge nicely at night and you've also got a camera which is connected to the uh, Evo 1 sounder on the dash so you can see what's going on in your um, engine bay when an engine hatch is closed it's all very clean and tidy in, in the engine room um, you notice it's got a couple of uh, bilge pumps and a float switch uh, should they be needed they're on board and nice and tidy well laid out engine room also it's got a got the twin ram system here to lift the engine hatch up uh, automatically and it's got a safety feature here that if you're working on the boat or mechanics you can pop that into place to make sure it's going to stay up on you without coming down so that's a nice little system sort out Right, we'll move up out of the engine room. Right, I'll take you up now and show you how to get up on the up up in the bow area. So we just close the the hatch. We unzip and send the curtain. And then just unclip it here from the get up on here. I'll just Rather than roll it up, I'll just flip it up and uh, sit it up there. So undo that. You notice you only have to do the top one because the bottom one's connected. So you just undo that, turn that over. Voila, you're up on the bow. Simple as that, easy. This is fitted with a nice sun pad. Uh, that you can leave here, it's got a nice cover on it, or if you leave it in an extended period, you're probably taking it and put it inside. You've got fender holders either side, and also nice fair lead and bollard, heavy duty winch, and anchor automatic foot winches here to operate from the foot. Um, and I'll show you inside the anchor locker. Uh, that's your handle if you're required if it failed you can lock it into place um, so that's all neat and tidy and nice up there all on nice gas struts so it won't fall down which is a common problem with a lot of boats they don't have their gas strut and then they fall down on your foot so you know sea ray again you know you're, you're buying quality and uh, that's what you're getting uh, Obviously we've got the spotlight there, remote control from the dash. Uh, a lot of people wonder what this is. It's not a vent, it's your horn. Uh, it's where it's fitted. Again, good size cleats, good size stainless rails, and uh, plenty of light entering into the into the cabin on three portholes. Uh, windshield wipers, both sides. And while we're up here, we'll show you the Ocean TV. So that's your sat nav TV. All you need to, to run this is you need a Foxtel box located in the boat. So you've got to subscribe to Foxtel, plug it in, and you've got Foxtel digital TV on board. And you'll notice also the two uh, solar panels uh, that have been fitted just to keep those batteries nicely topped up which is a good idea. 
I'm in the aft cabin of the Sea Ray 330 and I'll show you how this bed works. I've just made it up and I'll show you how it folds away in a minute. But if you notice up in here, it's got a nice TV, another uh, storage locker. So a couple of children, uh, this would be an ideal space for them. But there's plenty of room, plenty of room in here. So two children will sit in here nicely or even two adults for that matter. And you've got your own little you know, privacy curtain there. All works nicely. And uh, a couple of reading lights on off there. A couple of power points. Uh, um, USB port. And also some nice storage area for bits and pieces. And then underneath here in this little area pulls down. And this has got, uh, looks like an amplifier fitted there and a sine wave. Uh, inverter fitted so nice easy access um, good good spot for it out of the way easy to access if required folds up nicely that closes these go in here that's all good this bed folds up I'll show you just pull this out somewhat that's enough pull that out put them up there out of the way Slide that back. And then these go back in here. All put away, no more than 30 seconds. Also under here in the aft cabin is another drawer. Okay, we're down still in the aft cabin and the main panel of all the operations is located down here and I'll just run through that quickly with you so you know what we've got got a water level indicator here CD player uh, your Sony stereo uh, another um, CD stacker and then we move down to the 220 volt board 12 volts so you know it's 220 volt down to here all the black switches 12 volt down to here all the red switches so uh, when, when you leave the boat on the marina you want to make sure that your battery is in the on position all these here off and make sure your gauge is reading 220 which you can see and then down here you got your cabin lights on which we've got refrigerator no need to have it on fresh water pumps off at the moment power vents off 12 volt receptacles are off head system is off because that drives the pump uh, the vacuum pump in the bilge to operate the head so if your head wasn't working you always make sure that that turned on and then you'll find it will work and that's your stereo system this is where your two keys go in your master key so you just turn them on to that position and then be on or give you a beep and then you start it from up in there uh, on the helm that's your bilge blower so you, you, you know, when you get on the boat and put the keys in, you switch that on, run that for a good four minutes um, and let any fumes or vapors out. Uh, so look, keep that running until you're ready to start. Uh, this is your Kohler Genset uh, mode module, start, stop, and it'll come up and tell you what's happening on the little gauge there. And this has also got the energy drive uh, battery uh, charger system which is showing the batteries are, are, are fully full so very well laid out very simple to use just remember your 220s on the top uh, 220 240 12 volt is down the bottom here so if you're out at sea you want to use 220 240 uh, power you switch it off there switch that over to there push that down and start your gen set and then you're on gen generator power on board so that that's running on board back you're back at back at the marina flick it generator off cross there back on you notice that come up to 220 volts that means you're getting full power to the boat charging the batteries you can run all the systems that are on 220 240 volt so nice and tidy clean takes a little bit to get used to but pr pr pretty elementary okay so we'll show you how this other 
double bed works. Small double, just pulls out. To that position. And obviously it depends just where you want to sleep. Right. Small single. Or again for a couple of children, probably probably not bad. Again, easy, easy operation. Slides away in and out. Simple as that. Nice and easy. Uh, plenty of storage. Uh, got storage in here. Got a lead there. Um, good. Hanging locker. Nicely lined with maple. storage here and here so oh and of course all up here so I open them all up so you can see you got ample storage plenty of storage in this boat which is quite unusual on a boat this side to have so much much storage so also you come around here I'll show you it's got AC heating and this is the control here for it um, so the, 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 that's, you control the whole system from here. You can set it to come on while it's parked on the marina to raise and drop the temperature point by two degrees every hour to keep the boat fully dehumidified and it just clicks in, drops the temperature, clicks out and keeps the boat all fresh inside. Ample storage up here as well. These, you might be wondering, are blockers. When you're sleeping a bit of light around, they just slide up into there. Keep it, uh, keep the sun out or the lights out. And you also notice that these cupboards are all on uh, gas struts. So again, it won't fall down on your fingers and stay open when you're putting stuff away. Um, you know, typical Sea Ray quality. Think of everything, try and do things right. Um, this is a nice large uh, V berth with a uh, fly screen and block out uh, hatch and uh, again plenty of room in here stack of room uh, reading lights little LEDs fitted in the roof here and you got those ring lights there, air, um, uh, AC vent, heating vent there, and again more, more storage, and speakers in here. So, all in all, plenty of room, good, good sleeping facilities. Uh, we'll go into the galley area, and you got you got a nice hanging cupboard there too, the last cupboard, and then we're into the kitchen. A microwave, of course that will run off your inverter or your genset. Again, plenty of storage. Look how deep those cupboards are. Get plenty of stuff in there. You've got nice little towel rails. Hold um, stuff in there. There's all your owner's manuals, books there. All on board. Um, again, more storage in here. you got um, mosquito nets. Uh, another block out, they're all good, all in good condition. And another cupboard here, good. And you got a nice fan here, extractor fan, more lights, main light there. And you got a nice sea ray. Look, I don't think it's even been used, looks like it hasn't been turned on. So that, that runs off 220 volt or your gen set, or you can also run it off shell light. Which, uh, if you didn't want to run your gen set, you just put some, you, go, you buy a shell light, uh, open this up, and you can uh, fill it up with shell light and, and run it manually, which is nice. Then you just lift that up, closes down nicely. It's another nice bench top, nice rail on there to stop the pots or anything sliding off. Uh, you got nice ventilation, cross ventilation here. So open up this porthole, uh, opens up wide, feel the air coming in already. Go across this side, do the same. The whole boat's airing out beautifully. So they're all easy and watertight, shut nice. Plenty of, plenty of clips on them to keep them tight. One, two, three, four. 
sensible and same on this side and it's also got a blind here you can pull that down at night if you want people looking in uh, 220 volt plug there uh, you also got some more storage under here this is the bedding uh, that you can make the bed with keep that out of the way you got storage under here Uh, oh, sorry. No, it's actually um, your access to you to your side power thruster, yeah, so you can uh, get to it easily while you're on board. Let's fix that up. Refrigeration. I'll show you. We've obviously got another uh, 12 volt refrigerator out here in the cockpit. We've got another one here under the stove. Um, freezer on top um, and fridge underneath, and we also got a nice little retrofitted icebox freezer uh, on board here so that opens up nicely pulls out get plenty of drinks bottles in there and just pop that back into there and close it Lovely. so all in all storage refrigeration very very well thought out and obviously the previous owner with this boat obviously wiped going away for extended periods, which you could do, no, no trouble whatsoever. So also we've got the uh, head here, which is good size, full size mirror there, uh, which is nice. And also I can step in there. I'm 176 centimeters, plenty of head height. Uh, this is a vacuum uh, flush toilet. It uses fresh water and a vacuum pump and a holding tank. Uh, to use it all you do is just lift this up fill the bowl with water um, the vacuum pumps up and then you just push your foot on there and it flushes away um, macerator here switch you can turn on when you want to pump it out um, air condition in the in the toilet here as well and use the shower just pull it out of there pop it up there and there's your shower all up and running ready for action uh, to be honest with you, most people use the shower on the aft, just have a shower on their bathing togs. Uh, keep this, it keeps this area all nice, but if you, if you want to have a shower in privacy, you can, just by, just by what I showed you. And also you've got uh, some nice storage there, toilet, toilet roll holder, uh, towel holder there. It's got uh, vents, uh, lights, and of course a nice window, you can easily open it which is good, sensible, well clipped and you've got nice storage up here as well and, and that up there, there's two in the boat, one there, one in the aft cabin and that's your circuit breakers, if anything trips, it'll trip there, just reset it by pushing this and uh, you're back in business. Okay, we're on the starboard side of the Sea Ray here you notice this gel coat, if you can see it, it's absolutely gleaming. Absolutely in pristine condition, along with the striping. It's freshly coat of anti-foul. Uh, all the fittings here are all spotless, vent. Uh, got underwater light here. And look, you notice all these are all in very good condition. No rust, very clean. You could almost think it hadn't been in the water, to be honest. And if you have a look directly under here, under the swim platform, always have a look under here when I'm ever buying a boat because this is a great telltale sign of how well a boat's been kept and how they'll come up and if you look under here and you know it's been superbly looked after obviously it's been cleaned but you know it's been able to be cleaned and be kept nice and you also notice the props the shaft drives um, and you also notice that the the props are in tunnels you come out here Cameron you can see them uh, so they're in in a tunnel system, so it keeps them uh, keep, keeps the propulsion. Uh, there's a, additional underwater lights here, one, two, three, um, and you notice a good size trim tabs, big blades. Uh, all the anodes have all been replaced, all ready to go. And you'll notice that the props are in tunnels, uh, and they've also been prop speeded, so they're ready to go as well. Freshly coated anti-foul, um, all good, all good to go, ready to go in the water. 
um, ready for you guys to spend uh, a week or 10 days out in a very, very nice boat. All in all, this is a very well presented 330 Sea Ray Sundancer. If you're in the market for a 330, make sure you add, add this boat to the very top of your list. You certainly won't be disappointed. It's on display seven days a week at our store in Brookvale, uh, 758 Pitboyle Road. It's also on our website, sportsmarinesid.com.au. Have a look at it. Come down, give us a call. We'll show you over it again. We'll do, we'll do whatever we can to help you buy a boat. But please keep this one in mind because they seldom come along this clean and this tidy. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.